Hello, beautiful. Thank you for coming to explore this free gift that I'm offering from my heart to yours. I think we can all agree that this is a precarious moment in our evolutionary journey. One full of uncertainty and instability on so many levels. And yet in this chaos, there is vast potential and promise. We can feel it of something radically new breaking through if we choose it. And I believe at this unprecedented moment that the most essential contributions we can make to ourselves and the whole of life right now is to consciously cultivate sustained heart coherence and resilience as we ride through this unprecedented evolutionary moment together. It takes commitment and practice to rise above the feelings of fear and reaction so rampant now. And perhaps it is just this crisis that is the pressure needed to fuel this kind of commitment. I believe that we do have the power to shift the entire system to a higher order and that that shift begins inside. I think we're the key. And I believe it's time that we awaken our vast potential because it's right here inside of us, ready to blossom into the fullness of our home. We're made to thrive. And so this simple practice is offered in support of this natural process. And my wish is that this gift inspires you to consciously cultivate the stained heart coherence in the heart of your daily life. So let's begin by bringing our attention to our breath. And let's take a few deep cleansing breaths together by breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And use this breath to support us to become more present right here and right now. So let's begin in breath in. time to the nose and just release it naturally to the mouth. And just letting your breathing normalize. And notice where you might feel any resistance or tension in your body or mind right now. And let your attention on your breath begin to relax your body in this tension or resistance so you can settle more fully into this present moment.
As you breathe, feel your jaw relaxing, over. Feel yourself relaxing and rising at the same time. What happens when we let go of resistance? Contraction is that there's more space for energy to flow. Breathing is the only bodily function that occurs automatically, without effort, and can be guided intentionally. And in this practice, we're going to keep our attention on our breath, and we're gonna add intention to the quality of energy that flows in and out with it. The relaxing and breathing, I'd like you to bring your awareness to your hand. Maybe put them in your lap or right in front of you, kind of cup together. And use your breath and your intention and awareness to fill your hands with care and compassion. And if it's difficult to feel the feeling of care and compassion in this moment, then if you can remember a moment you felt it and use it as a doorway into the feeling. And allow your hands to be saturated with your care and compassion to whatever level is authentic and pure. And now place your hands on the center of your in the center of your chest, like in your heart center. And with your breath, begin to send the care and compassion from your hands into your own In a time like this, our care and compassion for ourselves needs to be first and foremost. And feel this care and compassion moving through your heart into your blood. every heartbeat and every breath circulating through your body, through your blood, and into your organs and your bones. See this care and compassion moving through your nervous system and every particle of your being. And all the spaces in between.
heart-centered coherence begins inside you. It occurs naturally when we bring our attention to the breath and to the beating of our hearts. And evoking the feeling of care for ourselves in life. Let yourself be When our hearts are incoherent, we're resonating with the electromagnetic frequency of the earth. So I invite you now to feel the bottom of your feet and to use your breath to fill your feet with love and gratitude for the bounteousness of our Mother Earth. of the universe he is a precious jewel and we are blessed to be alive in this garden so let your feet be saturated with feelings of love and gratitude and just like you were doing with your hand, send this energy into the heart of our Mother Earth. And as we do this, we begin to come into resonance and coherence with her heartbeat and her breath. When we are relaxed and present in this moment, centered in our hearts, or in alignment with her heart and her breath. I like to imagine that I'm lying on her mother's chest, feeling the love flowing between our hearts and our breath. In the months that we've been sheltering in, the earth has begun to regenerate herself in an unprecedented and miraculous way. Let's connect to this capacity and draw on her resilience with every 
breath. I also like to imagine that the sun, a great central sun, is shining on our back and bathing us and the earth with light. Now with your awareness on your hands, on your chest, and your feet on the ground, bring your attention to the still point at the center of your chest. This still point is the doorway into the unified field we all share. And your breath is the unique current of you rising from and returning. Your breath is the aliveness at the heart of this stillness. And it is through our breath that we can draw from this field everything we need to thrive, personally and collectively. I heard this quote today. What if our belief that we're separate is our only limitation? What if our belief that we're separate is our only We are one within this vast field of potential. And you are a distinct and essential expression of it. Distinct and unified. And now centered in stillness, their breath moving in and out of this field of potential. Let us take a moment to connect with others around the world that are choosing to cultivate greater coherence in the heart of their lives. There are growing clusters of people and organizations all around the world who know is coming into heart-centered coherence is a vital gift for ourselves, our well-being, and that of the planet and the whole of life. And so let's consciously send a wave of love and compassion to each other, connecting heart to heart through our gratitude.
in coherence, our capacities and our impact is vastly greater than the sum of our parts. And your unique part is what is the whole most needs from you right now. So with your awareness on your hands, your hands on your heart, your feet on the earth, and your breath rising in and out of the stillness at your center. Let us now radiate care and compassion into the space around you. Radiate it into your home, your garden, your neighborhood, your city, draw this care and compassion out of this field of infinite love and breathe together and extend our loving care and compassion out into your country and see it ripples covering the whole world. See everything bathed in our shared care and compassion. Nothing left Breathing in and out of this still point connected to the infinite field of love that unites us. Let us send waves of courage and resilience and curiosity into the field of our interconnectedness. What we are feeding the field matters. And let's saturate it right now. With our care, our compassion, and love and courage. again from the stillness at the center of your heart 
Let your love carry on your breath. Bathe the earth in all of life with one more pulse of love and presence. Riding on the currents of your breath into the world. Let's bring your hands back to you, the attention on your heart, the care and compassion in your feet, and the earth, love, and gratitude. Bathing yourself one more time in this beautiful, coherent, heart center. Saturated and overflowing. Maybe breathe a little deeper now and let out a sigh. <sighs> Do that again. <sighs> Maybe slowly open your eyes and Stay in this heart center. This is our natural state of being. Distinct, unified expression of wholeness. And see if you can sustain this feeling as you move about the day. And if in any moment you find yourself not there, you can just stop and put your hands on your heart and your feet on the earth. We are feeding the field with every thought, word, and deed, every moment of the day. And what we're feeding the field matters. And life is calling us from the inside out to consciously choose what we're contributing in every moment. And if we stumble, which we will as we gain sustained coherence and resilience, you can place our hands on our hearts and our feet on the ground and connect consciously with the islands of coherence clustering together to co-create a new home. We're not designed to do this alone. It's through the diversity of our unity, joint and coherent, that the new will arise.
but we're feeding your matter. And what the field needs most from you right now is to radiate your authentic present and purpose. Into Center of your own sweetheart carried on the current of your breath. And so I send blessings from my heart to yours. And I thank you for joining me in this simple heart community. be done in a moment, and it could be something that you do with every breath in your day. And if you resonated with this, I invite you to join the Global Coherence Pulse something I'm working on with other organizations and friends where we're pulsing the field with coherent energy. Everyone, the visit globalcoherence.org. I know more about that. And if you were wondering about the music that's been playing here with this meditation, you can check it out on Bandcamp. Look under Entheo, and the album is called The Great Game. So I wish you blessing and love and a heart-centered coherence.